Guns of Arizona with the FX Impact. We're going to be looking at the regulator today, what to do and what not to do when you adjust the regulator if you decide to do this. First, we're going to remove the trigger guard from the regulator so we can access it easier. The regulator is directly behind the trigger. It takes a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to remove the trigger guard. It can be done without removing the trigger guard, but it, for video purposes, it's going to be a lot easier. And it also takes a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to adjust the regulator. The regulator adjusting screw is in the very center where my Allen wrench is pointing. You can adjust the regulator out, which is going to, going to increase the bar of the gun. It's factory set at 140. However, if you turn the regulator in, which is clockwise, you can ruin the regulator if the air rifle is under pressure. So what we're going to have to do if you wanted to lower it, for instance, we would remove the air cylinder. There's air still present in the, in the air gun. That may escape in two minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes. Or you could fire the gun and it will bleed off the excess air that's in from the, on the back side of the regulator. It has bled off the air out of the regulator. So now you could turn the adjustment screw clockwise to decrease the reg pressure. So you're gonna go from 140 bar to to wherever you end up. If you look at the gauge, it'll give you a reference when you, re when you put the air cylinder back on the gun. But we set the, f the, the gun with a digital manometer that's a thousand dollar gauge that goes to a tenth of a bar. So getting to where we were, is, and there's a very, very slight of an adjustment, it is required to move at 10 bar. So we can reinstall the cylinder. Back onto the impact, we can look at the gauge for the manometer after the reg pressure, and that'll give us a reference on what you adjusted it to. If you decide you want to adjust the reg higher, you may do so under pressure, taking the Allen wrench and turning it counterclockwise to increase the reg pressure. However, there's going to be a point where that screw is going to come out. And if it does when it's under pressure, then it's gonna probably be coming back for warranty work. Where we're at here is we have bled the air off the gun. I put it on low power, I fired it, reduced all the air that passed the regulator. We got it down, we re-screwed a full cylinder of air on it. This is what our reg setting is right now. I'm gonna show you that you can adjust the regulator out, which is counterclockwise and increase the pressure. I just gave it a full turn. If you look at the gauge, the gauge is different than what it was before. That is how you adjust the regulator. So I have shot this gun, oh, quite a bit. And uh, I found with everything from 22 to 30 caliber that uh, honestly the reg is set up from the factory at like an optimum level. So it's set between 139 and 141 bar and all the ones I've worked on I've set it right at 140. Uh, we get about 60 shots out of a 30 cal. It's roughly going about 860 to 70 feet a second with a 30 cal. The 22s with GSP heavies are running 925 to 940 probably. So that's what to do and what not to do. If you enjoyed the video, that's great. If not, there's plenty of other ones you can watch that are available for the Arrogans of Arizona. Thank you.